Hey everyone, as most of you know, this coming fall, I'm stepping down from the role of pastor for teaching and vision at Bridgetown Church after 18 years of church planting and pastoring, 18 wonderful, the best, some of the best years of my life. We really feel that the time has come for a new act of obedience for my wife and I and our family to step out in faith and take Practicing the Way, which is this five-year kind of discipleship and formation journey that we have been on together as a church and offer it to the church at large. We wanna turn Practicing the Way into a freestanding nonprofit and create and curate resources for discipleship and formation for local churches like ours to utilize in Western contexts like Portland and all around the world. And we're just full of hope and anticipation, not just for our future and practicing the way, but for Bridgetown Church. This is our church family, and I can't wait for the next chapter in our story. It is my honor this coming September to pass the baton of that point leadership position to my dear friend, Tyler Staten from Brooklyn, New York, where he's been a church planter and pastor for over a decade, I think 12 years of Oaks Church, Brooklyn, one of the best churches I have ever visited. I, I love this man, I respect him. He is a gift to the church with a call on his life as a pastor, as a teacher, and as a leader. And I cannot wait to follow his leadership in the next season of our life together. Here's Tyler to tell you more and share his heart a little. Hello, Bridgetown, so great to meet you in some form at least. As John Marks already said, my name is Tyler and I'm so excited to step into the beautiful story that has been being written here in this church family. A little bit about me personally, uh, my wife's name's Kirsten. We've got two young boys, Hank, who's almost five, and Simon, who's almost three. Collectively, as a family, we are just thrilled to be calling Portland home and to be landing here and starting a next chapter for our family here in your amazing city. As John Mark said, uh, we just spent the last 12 years of our lives in New York. Uh, the first five years were spent founding and serving as leaders in a youth ministry that worked with first-generation immigrant teenagers growing up in Lower Manhattan. We then moved just across the East River into Williamsburg, Brooklyn, where we uh, founded, along with the team, uh, Oaks Church Brooklyn, and I served as lead pastor there for the last seven years. And saying goodbye to that community was an experience of grief and gratitude and a ton of hope and expectation for the next season. Uh, first, I just want to say that the foundation that has been laid here is the one that we will continue to build on. Be with Jesus, become like Jesus, do what Jesus did. We don't imagine changing a syllable of any of that. As it says in 1 Corinthians 3, uh, Jesus Christ is the foundation of the church, and he is the only foundation that we build on. And so there's been something quite right in this church for a long time. And we simply want to join in with that story. Um, but it is our sense that in the next chapter that there are new expressions of the ongoing work of God within this church family that uh, will and should come about. Um, one of those would be an increased awareness and expression of ministry by the power of the Holy Spirit. My great passion is a church known for the people and not the pastor. And for that to be the case, for us to be known for the character of the community and the fruit of the harvest here in Portland, uh, all the gifts that exist within this church body have to be active and maturing and expressing. And so we hope to see uh, more and more gifts come alive as individuals in this church are empowered to play their part. Um, secondly is a growing culture of prayer. I am incredibly passionate about uh, justice and mercy and mission all emerging from a place of intimacy with God. It's my experience that if you go after intimacy with Jesus, you get mission thrown in as well because Jesus will take you where he's always going and that is toward the margins, that is uh, toward the needy, that is toward the lost. And so when we prioritize prayer and put the presence of God at the center of everything, so much of the ripple effect outward is the fruit that we see in the New Testament church. And then finally, would be that piece of mission. There has been such deep good work done in the name of spiritual formation here in this church. And I share the same ministry paradigm and understanding of discipleship by practices that John Mark uh, has led and put into place here. And 
ultimately, all of our spiritual formation is always for the sake of others. And so it's my belief that because there has been such a beautiful well dug in this church, that what will come next is an, an equally beautiful offering to the city, that we will grow as a church in the way that we care for the needs and the margins within the city of Portland, that there will be different expressions of mission and justice and mercy and compassion that emerge from within our doors, different expressions of kingdom life that all result in peace or what the scripture describes as shalom. So that's where I think that God is inviting us next. And we are coming in as people that are grateful to be a part of a beautiful story, to get to know many of you as family and be able to call you brothers and sisters and to listen well to uh, what God has been up to here and what God might be inviting us into next. We are so happy to get to know you. And so finally, just a little bit about our timeline. Um, we will officially be rooted in Portland as of late July, and John, Mark, and I will overlap a little bit in our time here uh, and serve together to lead this church community. And then uh, on September 12th is the official passing of the Baton Sunday when we will both bless and celebrate John Mark, a great friend of mine who has done such a phenomenal job of leading this community and, and when I will be officially installed as lead pastor here um, and the next chapter will begin. So we're looking forward to it and we hope you'll come along with us on the journey.